my name is Austin Warren, and I'm from Orlando, Florida. And I will, will like to share some information about Orlando with you. Uh, first off, if you're traveling in Orlando by flight, I recommend your flight be at night, um, about from 10 to 11, because that's when Disney does their fireworks every night. So it's really cool to see like a aerial view of Disney's fireworks because Disney's fireworks are pretty intense every night. It's like $5,000 show. So it's pretty cool seeing it. And if you're driving in, I'd recommend driving down the coast because you pass so many like iconic beaches that stand out a lot. And you're literally right on the coast, like the beach is on the other side of the road. So that's pretty cool. Orlando has a lot to offer as far as um, shopping venues. First off, we have two of the largest malls in the country. One's the Florida Mall, which is more of like a old person mall, but it's got like antiques and stuff, but it's it's huge. And our other mall is the mall at Man M. Is, um, it's where all the celebrities go. Like when Oprah comes into town, that's the mall she rents out. Um, LeBron James was in there last year and they like shut down everything for him and had his whole, the whole paparazzi was there. It's pretty cool just like going to the Mall Millennium and somebody famous is gonna be there. So it's pretty cool that you're in the same area as them. And then on low scale shopping, we have a bunch of like cool little like town shop areas like on the lake and you just walk around the lake and uh, it's really nice because there's all kinds of lights like set up and everything. Another cool thing is our neutral location to the beach. Um, the famous Daytona Beach, known for spring break and everything, that's 45 minutes from us, and that's typically where you go if you're looking like just have like a party like with your friends or whatever. We're also 45 minutes from New Smyrna Beach, which if you're a risk taker, it's the shark capital of the world and some of the biggest waves in Florida. So that's where we go. That's where we like to have fun because it's kind of like a thrill. And that's where all the um, like surfers and stuff go. So it's kind of cool going up there because there's all kinds of competitions. We're also 45 minutes from um, the Gulf of Mexico, which is like it's warmer water, less waves, more safer for younger kids. So if you're traveling with family, usually we recommend uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Also another cool part about Orlando being neutral is any famous people have to go through Orlando to get anywhere else in the country if they're coming come in to and from Miami. So every night there's some kind of concert going in where the Orlando Magic play. And like it's it's pretty awesome because just like Nashville, like the free concerts and everything, there's always some kind of venue to be um, to go on during Orlando. So that's pretty cool. And um, Orlando's a good place for young people. The young crowd as far as downtown at night. There's all kinds of like fun, innocent stuff you can do at night, like glow in the dark putt putt golfing or something at uh, Universal, which is really cool. And, and the main thing about Orlando is the theme parks. Actually, Orlando has like 50% of America's theme parks. People just think of Disney and Universal, but there's a lot more than that. And just a tip, if you go to Universal or Disney, I recommend going with somebody in a wheelchair because they're family friendly and um, you get to the front of the line. My dad worked there for 10 years to kind of have an insight on Disney. So that is Orlando, Florida, and I recommend visiting.